first of all welcome aniket uh, to this very first book nerds hangout on linkedin uh, which i yet to uh, i i am figuring it out i am experienced on clubhouse but i don't know how it this works but uh, pretty similar i guess uh, welcome uh, to this session it's always great to be in one of those pod, uh, events where someone is organizing it first time and uh, it's fascinating <laughs> that it's on a topic which is so close to me about books so it really is it's going to be a great session we've already got okay thank uh, you so much <laughs> yeah 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 uh, so the this is the inaugural session of the book nerds hangout here on linkedin but it has been going on for a while on other platforms as well as offline uh so uh first of all um, uh, i would love to introduce aniket who is i i have been following aniket for a bit now and i have been kind of stalking him because he's so obsessed with books and uh, so he made a post on linkedin about audiobooks and i was so fascinated by that and i immediately dm'd him and i, I was like we have to do this aniket so what aniket does is he coaches people to read effectively and efficiently which i found pretty fascinating he has got this cohort based course and he has helped out uh, it has also been a part of just passed out of graduated out of uh, like app which is linkedin creator accelerator program of india and he also works at barclays aniket what's happening how are you you know pulling all all of this off <laughs> i think it it comes from the fact that uh, you know i wasted my 20s so now i'm doubling up to cover up in my early 30s as simple as that <laughs> but uh, i think it, that I, makes two of us that makes two of us <laughs> <laughs> i think I, i think by the time we get mature enough to understand how do we make the most out of our time the 20s definitely goes past us and that's a sad truth of life but the truth essentially here is that as employees when men majority of the people here are employees salary to their organized uh, employer we have a limited time that we have got for 9 hours or 10 hours that we are being paid for then we have our own life so let's add another 6 to 8 hours of it we still are got left with around 5 to 6 hours for ourselves and that's where you can follow your passions you can follow your own dreams and ambitions and i stumbled upon it and uh, before you know it years pass and i've progressed steadily on it i do believe we are at a cusp of a revolution which was started in 2020 you could see people who are following creator economy as a full time job and it many of the creators on instagram on twitter on linkedin they rose to prominence um, during 2020 the pandemic they had a lot of time at their hands and disposal so those who made the most out of it are today creators in their own right and that's where uh, i started little before that i've taken my own time to come on social media because frankly truth be told i dislike social media i was one of those in that far corner who were saying this social media is a waste but 2020 made me rethink and uh, got me back onto social media platforms the last of which was linkedin which i finally dared to post at the end of 2021 and that brings us here that's so wonderful aniket and uh, we are so happy that you are here and you are encouraging people uh, to read uh, okay let's get to audiobooks and uh, you know that post you made particular post that i talked about a little bit earlier it was very interesting for me and i really wanted to know about the significance of audiobooks because of course all the new platforms have come in you know audible is there there are multiple platforms storytel and what not um it's it's tough to for some of us to kind of graduate to audiobooks perhaps because we have been doing this the reading thing for a while perhaps we are old school so what is the significance of audiobooks in the current scenario uh, and why should people be adopting them as is the case with everything in life there are two sides of the coin here one for those people who are already having a habit of reading books and the other side is people who have lost their touch with books and now are resorting to audiobooks to get that connect back um with people who are already having a habit of reading books audiobooks need to be used with caution 
because essentially there's no better thing than reading the books now how do you bring audio books into your life where you could use audio books to screen a book now you see we can end up buying a lot of books okay uh, many people who are salary but they are absolutely passionate about books they know most of their income goes into buying books but not every book is worth reading i profoundly believe that the book should be deserving enough to be read by you not the other way around because the moment you change the approach towards reading books you're not going to read hundreds of books you're only going to read tens of books the ones that you truly desire and this is where audio book helps you screen helps you realize that this book is really good enough for me to deeply read it in a textbook format or this book is just um, the promising a lot but under delivering it so for readers who read our books a lot audio books can be a screening mechanism another way it could help those who read a lot is by adding another 15 20 minutes of their time into reading a book uh, by listening to it first and then speeding up your reading so that reinforcement mechanism comes into the play this is also one of the tactic i follow to make the most out of audio books coming on the other side people who have lost their touch with reading people who think they don't have time to read audio books serve as a gateway so gateway that's a word here they serve as a gateway to get you reintroduced to books so you could be commuting you could be exercising you could be doing household chores and that is when you listen to audio books and if you look at how people adopted audio books again the same pattern emerges pandemic everyone having to do their own household chores and that's when podcast and audio books they rose to prominence again so that these are the two sides of the coin where i would say audio books help in getting you connected with reading books or listening to them that's wonderful aniket and uh, i i i would like to also mention that uh, if you have uh, a question for aniket or you want to uh, give a recommendation perhaps of an audio book you are most welcome to raise your hand and i'll pull you up and you can speak to us uh, uh, also aniket it's it, it's kind of you know art uh, you know the art of uh, it all you know it is not easy i mean anybody can listen to an audio book but kind of you know it is um, hard to get the most out of it you know it is uh, what is your theory about this because you know uh, sometimes i just you know kind of you know uh, listen start listening to an audio book i get bored or perhaps what is your theory on this how to get the most out of it so that's a very nice question rohan very nice question rohan i think vivek so wants to ask a question and then we'll get back, we'll get to it i think vivek has got a question or a comment okay, i vivek okay. Okay. yeah hi can, can you guys hear me Sure, sure. Yeah, loud yeah, and clear. Yeah. So, awesome, awesome. So, uh, hi, Rohan. Hey, Aniket. Uh, nice to catch up on this pod- on this podcast. So, uh, uh, a quick one from my side is not really a question, but uh, just an observation or my own experience. I've been listening to audio books now for about uh, two to one and a half years, uh, doing that on Audible, and I, and I feel that you know what it has really done to me is. Uh, maybe i i may not be in a position to remember everything as you rightly said rohan and uh, aniket also said in his own pattern but what it does is it gets into your subconscious and when it gets into your subconscious your ability to relate and connect the dots increases significantly that is what i have really observed and I, as you guys rightly said every time that i'm going for walks and those kind of things i keep you know getting back to my audible uh, notebook so by now i think i have already listened to about 80 odd books over the last two years and i feel that uh, it is it is really helping me quite a bit so that's my observation thanks guys that's quite a great number vivek uh, 80 odd audio books I, I, i don't know aniket uh, are you winning on that count or what's happening no <laughs> rohan aniket ke sath competition nahi ho sakta bhaiya aniket ke sath competition <laughs> so i'm i'm quite happy to announce that i'm amazingly losing at that because <laughs> my take on audio audio books and my take on books as, as a whole is you less is really more 
could be maybe today i am saying this less is more two or five years down the line i could be saying something else i would have rethink my position but this also brings to me one of the biggest angst with audiobooks first i love audiobooks but i hate them as well so i hate you like i love you if you remember that song from delhi belly movie it's absolutely applicable with audiobooks because while listening to audiobooks i don't have a book in front of me i'm passively listening to audiobooks because i am doing something else so my attention is at the best case scenario half divided i could be driving so my attention will be more on the roads and you know how indian roads are <laughs> you really have to be very attentive there or you could be running or working out where your attention is on the <clears throat> exercise that you're doing same with household chores <clears throat> so with audio books your attention is already half divided and this is where i believe that we need to invest more into the book we are listening rather than going to the next book which is where i've been experimenting on what is the right way of listening to audio books and essentially there is no right way as such everyone is right in their own way but what is the way that helps me make the most out of the audio book i'm listening to which is where my post came into uh, the into a prominence that it's an audio book illusion if you are just listening to audio books yes we are going to put it into our subconsciousness which is what reading works but what if we could do more about it what if we could slow down our consumption and gain more on our output from it on our engagement from the book and how do i achieve that's amazing aniket yeah sorry to cut you off aniket yeah please go on no problem and how do i achieve that yeah. i first listen to an audiobook at at the most 1x so there's a whole of, a whole crowd of people who are listening at 1.5x and 2x they might be really great listeners in the world i am not so i keep it to 0.8x depending on the narration or at the most 1x and when i'm slowing down i'm dividing the portion of the audiobooks to very specific portions so most of the chapters are 25 30 minutes long i do not over consume that chapter even if my commute is one and a half hour i'm just going to listen to that particular chapter now immediately after i listen to that chapter i'm going to put audible on a pause stop close the app wait for 5 to 10 minutes for me to do my rest of the activities maybe check on phone or something then and that's where i've been working on this theory and it's giving me amazing result open a note app on your phone and make your flash notes whatever you could recall this i've recently started doing that for the last 2 3 months this dynamically upgrades your retention from your audiobook but that's not enough now you made your flash notes it could be on a notion app it could be on evernote it could be on any other note app you're really comfortable with no every tool serves a purpose now later in the day you have come back to your home from office or you are done with your most of the activities of the day now you settle it at you are moving on maybe towards the winding up of the day now you open the physical version of the book or the ebook of that same audible that you listened earlier in the day now go through the same chapter you will be going through the same chapter faster because you know your aha moments in the chapter earlier in the day when you were listening to it on an audible you move through the portion faster you use a pen or a pencil to highlight or underline write a quick uh, think thoughts on the margin area all that you do while reading a proper book but at a faster pace doing the combination of these two add on steps will definitely slow you down will definitely ensure that you don't even get to 40 books in 2 years but those 40 books will not remain part of just your subconscious it they will become part of your identity and that less will lead to incredibly more and at the same time will stop you from losing the connect the touch of mm-hmm. actually reading the book most of the people i interact with those who are heavy consumers or of audible of audiobooks or different platforms they have lost the touch of actually reading the book and this is where i believe that we are at a right stage today to become the propagators of this message 
great you're listening to audiobooks how about you slow yourself down and read the same book as well this is my two cents on how i approach audiobooks back to you i think aniket that's uh, at least a dollar uh, you are underestimating yourself thank you so much for that advice and that's brilliant you know a combinational sort of strategy towards reading it's amazing uh, that you are doing this with other people as well let's have uh, binati's uh, you know opinion i'm sure she might be she might be old school like me let's hear her out do uh, does she have a question or a comment uh, binati please uh, can you unmute yourself Of course, of course. No, I do not have a question because uh, I have explored reading audio books, and I personally didn't find them to be a medium that worked for me. Primarily because uh, I think audio books are more enjoyable if you are reading like fictional, or rather, if you're hearing fiction coming at you. And uh, because I'm still uh, currently, I'm in the learn fiction writing phase. I'm in the habit of analyzing the. a uh, book that i'm reading right to figure out what worked for the book and what didn't etc so audio book in that regard is not working for me right now in how i'm reading books uh, given to my process so that's basically what i wanted to talk about uh, there's like uh, when we talk about reading in general i feel that there is a very gate keepy types of uh, conversations that happen this is what you should do this is what you should try this is what you the thing with reading books is uh, every single person on this planet has a system that works for them whether it is reading style learning style etc etc uh, if you are someone who retains more information by hearing something audio books are going to work for you like a charm a friend of mine uh, is an oral learner and the way she picks up information from audio books i never could i feel uh, you know because i am not an oral learner i'm more of a visual learner so i rely on putting my hand on the e reader and like physically moving my finger around uh that is what works for me right so i think ultimately with uh, reading and uh, anything of that sort audio books included because a lot of people also i think have an issue with audio books being considered as reading and i'm like kyu it is reading right someone is definitely getting what they wanted to get with reading the or rather audio booking the audio book so yeah i think every one of us should figure out our process and every process in the world is going to look different my process is different from aniket's process and aniket's process is probably different from rohan's process we should keep having conversations like this right where we share our individual processes taki we can learn from each other ki ye bhi kar sakte hain right because i began taking notes for the first time in my books because my school teacher in english taught me that the references we were doing julius caesar and julius caesar has a lot of references that like normal gujju girl living in a gujju family no way i would have figured it out on my own you know so she taught us our school teacher taught us ki must aise arrow banao dragon jaise or any blank space you find fill it up and that is how you learn literature she taught that to me that's a good habit i inculcated from the get go so we should like you know as uh, i think rohan or and aniket said ki we should keep sharing these things taki we become conduits of these uh, lovely readerly messages ki maine is book ko aise padha i read the book like this and this is the benefit i observed in my process or this is the disadvantage i observed or whatever you know so that way we can maybe a uh, razor focus our own individual readerly processes to ye the meri unsolicited two cents loving this <laughs> thank you so much binati and uh, i would like to go back to aniket before i go to anshuman for his opinion about audio books aniket uh, uh, you know your posts are so intriguing i'm i'm a big fan uh you talked about uh, a particular book like atomic habits it's doing the rounds on linkedin like anything and even twitter 
so you you had your opinion on the book you know and uh, yeah uh, binati is laughing at that and of course do epic shit as well so uh, what is your opinion about such kind of books self help books particularly and compared to fiction have you dabbled into fiction as well i'm i'm a new follower of yours so i don't know about your fiction behavior so please enlighten us thank you rohan that's a very you, nice rohan, question that's a very nice um i made a post on this like i tweeted a reply yesterday on twitter and it got quite a nice traction so i believe that a true reader reads they don't differentiate between fiction or non fiction self help or fantasy sci fi they simply read when it comes to books like atomic habits to a picture all these self help books make time influence there are many self help books and at the same time there are many fiction books we need to find a nice balance between both not that balance is achieved overnight it's not that is the point of balance it's an art you learn it you integrate it into your life and that's where you arrive at it i have been a voracious non fiction reader for most of my life but as i've explored more depths of reading i've read more books on the art of reading and more read uh, on internet about the science of reading and stuff i've realized that combination of both helps you and i ensure that i try my best to end the day by reading a fiction book so i co- i follow this concept of morning read and night time read you start your day with a non fiction or a self help book that is a morning read 15 20 minutes and you end your day with non fiction uh, you end your day with fiction which is creative read which is where you are engaging with the author's dream world and winding down in a nice manner of course with fiction the biggest danger is you might get caught in the book and before you know it those 15 minute session becomes like a 2 or 3 hour binge reading thing which i try to control because the next day schedule could go out of sync if i do so so i do read fiction it's not as much as i read non fiction self help but but la- the final bit on this would be my best book of 2021 i read lot of non fiction a lot, lot of self help but my best book of 2021 was a fiction in form of anxious people by frederick backman i've read that book twice i've had 40 readers of mine maybe more who have read like in four different cohorts they've read anxious people as well and it's one book i will not and i don't think i will ever stop recommending and i read it so not an audible it's just a reading experience of anxious people which took stole the show for me so i hope that in awesome. a long way yeah. answers your question <laughs> थैंक यू सो मच अनिकेत फॉर द रिकमेंडेशन मैं तो लास्ट में आने वाला था रिकमेंडेशन पे बट थैंक यू सो मच अंशुमन वुड यू लाइक वॉट इज योर ओपिनियन अबाउट ऑडियो बुक्स हैव यू एक्सपेरिमेंटेड विद ऑडियो बुक्स डू यू डू यू मिक्स द टू लाइक द हाईब्रिड मॉडल वॉट्स योर शॉर्ट ऑफ यू नो सिन <laughs> so but coming to books and and firstly of course glad that you know there is a talk around range around books um not not much happens around this and aniket and i have often talked about this but my my view is that books are an escape for me from me uh, you know i i look at a book as to and it should be able to take me to a world where i am not there because in that world then i can learn something even if it is fiction i will figure out something it will entertain me if it is non fiction or self help or any of these things i will be transported into something where nobody judging me and i can then i am a novice and then i can learn because we don't learn when we have this fear of being judged and uh, and and you know we under constant supervision then we are living up to the reputation that we already have or lack of so that's an escape for me and audio books since you asked specifically around audio books uh, i am a i am a recent convert to audio books uh, in the last year or so uh, i hated them earlier 
but I needed to start a walking habit uh, for fitness reasons and uh, figured that this probably listening to a book will keep me on the on the walking habit. So it was the other way around. Um, I didn't pick up the listening habit to keep myself entertained, but I kept it more because it will keep me on the road for an hour. So that helped. Um, but over the last year or so, what I've realized is that uh, I do, and I think Aniket mentioned this earlier, that I do listen to a book and then end up, uh, if I like it, I end up buying it uh, because I then have to read it in the physical form at my own pace. So that is something. And thirdly, I think third point, uh, some common friends in this call know that every Monday for the last seven, eight months, I post a book summary. So, and so obviously to write a summary, you have to read it or listen to it. Therefore, I, I won't say I put myself under pressure, but I, I already have a bank. So I, I, at any point in time, I have three, four summaries that I can write. So there is no pressure. Some books take two weeks, some books take four weeks. Some take two days. Um, so yeah, so that writing has helped me. I make some notes. Yeah, at least the place where I walk, there are people who see me, you know, suddenly I will stop while walking and make some notes on my phone and then start walking again. So some of who, those who wonder how I churn out a summary every Monday, um, that Monday summary is happening every day of the week, paragraph by paragraph, and then comes together on the uh, Monday. So that's a little bit uh, on uh, my more than one dollar on this, right? So Thank you. <laughs> Do you have a recommendation for us? Oh, um, I'm reading something which is super forecasting, The Art and Science of Prediction. Mm -hmm. It is a fantastic book by Philip Tetlock. And I'm reading, I read multiple books at a time. So the other book uh, that is the Trillion Dollar Coach, uh, Bill Campbell, uh, or the story of Bill Campbell, Trillion Dollar Coach is amazing. Um, and I can't show you my desk. So I'm actually drowned in books. So, uh, but but maybe I'll post a picture of my desk one day and you will get to see some, some of my recommendations. But yeah, these two, are, I think from what I'm reading these days, uh, these two are top of the pile. Super forecasting. By I think Anshuman, I, I think Anshuman, a midweek sort of recommendation post would do us <laughs> all good. So yeah, why um, not? <laughs> one man, next next midweek, you know, the other posts are all set up. So midweek uh, with a photograph of the stack of books that is kept and read. So something like that. Yeah. Awesome. Thank you. Awesome. Thank you so much. Let's go to Ritoparna because she has been, she is, uh, you know, uh, I know that she's a storyteller and uh, Ritoparna, so do you uh, listen to audiobooks? Are you old school? Uh, you haven't adopted audiobooks. Uh, do you have a recommendation for us? Okay, you asked all the questions together at the same time. So thank you so much, <laughs> Rohan. Yeah, I, I, uh, my, my LinkedIn flash to say that you're doing an audio event and I remember you coming from mine. So here I am coming for yours and I found the conversation very interesting so I thought let me just join in um, okay so am I a new yes I do listen uh, like Anshuman I um, I line up what I want to hear and listen while I walk and it helps me uh, you know gather my thoughts so of course I'm a storyteller so the kind of books I read are varied and Anikes knows that how many books I read at the one time uh, my listening my listening library is also very diverse. So I'm reading uh, nonfiction, I'm reading fiction, I'm reading mythology. I could be listening to a podcast. I, I mean, I'm not bringing in podcasts here, but because of the listening experience of what I want, what were the topics that I'm interested in or the topics that I largely engage with, I like to keep my listening library also as a close book as that. For example, uh, I've been listening to Neil Gaiman's Norse mythology. For those who have not heard of Anil Gaiman, forget the books, you have to listen to him. He's a completely different experience of Neil Gaiman when you listen to him. He's got a fantastic voice. Um, another book that I'm reading is about the voice of a performer because I'm a performing artist. I like to know uh, how to build on your voice and how to take it further. So that's another book that I'm reading on voice. Um, so that just shows you how different my reading or listening uh, library is. Um, other than that, what really matters to me in audio specifically, and particularly in audiobook and not as much in a podcast, is the quality of the voice. 
if the voice is nice if it's somebody who i like uh i will listen to the audiobook uh, from the first minute to the last second so uh that's something very very important even if i've been interested in some stories uh and i feel the voice of the voice over is very bad or very poor i will not listen to it i would rather go and find the book and read it myself um and so for flat voices don't work for me as an audiobook is concerned i can listen to a flat voice in a podcast because you're listening to a podcast for a different experience right it's not a made up voice at all but for me an audiobook has to take you through that whole experience of reading that book and if the a voice artist is not invested in it my mind goes off so i think that's that's a limitation but that's who i am as far as audiobooks are concerned um do i listen to audio and also buy the a uh, physical book very rare uh, that's also because uh, if i find the book very very valuable and it's going to i need to refer to it again and again um then i will go and buy a physical book of something which i have read and it could also be that the book is very expensive or the physical book is not available in india so i know that since i don't have access to a physical book i will stay only with an audio and i will keep the download that audio and keep it in my library um did i answer all the questions I think I did. <laughs> yes, yes, you did. You did a fabulous job and a very interesting point. And I would love to go to Aniket and get, uh, to others uh, later. Aniket, she uh, Ritupanna said that you know the narrator is so important. And does is that the case in case of non-fiction as well? Because in fiction, the characters are so important. You know, you need to really associate with the characters and kind of be engrossed. Uh, is that important in the case of non-fiction as well? could be but the way i look at audiobooks i maybe i'm because i'm not a story reader my attention is who has narrated the book and i'm more likely to listen to an audible or an audiobook when the author himself or herself has narrated it so my take is not as much on the voice but as much on the person behind that book the author so i believe reading a book in itself is an indirect conversation with an author because predominantly for non fiction books you are having an indirect conversation with the author you are thinking you are having subconscious conversations making your quick thoughts into your marginalia so the same translates when i listen to an audible um when it's a, a very well narrated book yes it would capture my attention and i would not differentiate that i'm uh, listen to an audible which has been narrated by someone else but somewhere i have more feelings or more attachment with the audible when it has been narrated with the author thank yes, you so much aniket yeah aniket if you listen to you know michelle obama's the coming she herself is telling her own story so it's that voice which you imagine while reading the book is what the voice comes across so you you understand that when she is talking about her life and her thoughts they coming from a point where you can almost imagine she's sitting in front of you and talking to you um uh, that's true for a lot of non fiction books but a lot of fiction books may not be narrated by the author themselves and that's where the problem lies um yeah. and maybe that's where you know a lot of uh, and, and but particularly writers uh who i mean writers who are no longer there like if you listen to a, a i remember last year I was prepping for a frame chan show and i was listening to a lot of audio stories i was so put off by all the voices that uh, it wasn't the dialect it wasn't that but they 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 failed to convey the spirit of of the story of the characters and the passion with which a writer would also you know tell that read aloud his own story so reading aloud is an art by itself and if if nobody else is doing that the love for that or, or that uh, taking the listener into that narrative is completely lost yeah I suppose uh, Rituparna, the I mean the audio industry is also kind of you know it's just started in some ways. So I suppose the narrator would would become more and more important in the coming years. Uh, I suppose perhaps you know uh, the publishers need to kind of look at it uh, you know deeply. It has uh, been. I, been uh, Rohan, it has huh. been. Rohan, it has been. It has been. It has been. Uh, has been uh, very important. Uh, very the narrators that the they narrators make because, that they make because uh, if you look at the script that are coming out from publishing houses when they hire narrators they are hiring very specifically based on timber pitch um how the person pause it's it's amazing how the audio industry has uh, gently leached into the publishing industry 
तो इट्स बीन वेरी वेरी फैसिनेटिंग एंड देर आर अमेजिंग कोलेब्रेशन दैट आर हैपनिंग बिटवीन ट्रेडिशनल ऑडियो प्लेटफॉर्म्स एंड ट्रेडिशनल पब्लिशिंग प्लेटफॉर्म्स तो इफ यू स्टॉक इफ यू स्टॉक पब्लिशिंग न्यूज यू विल कीप सींग एवरी सिंगल डे दे इज सम न्यू प्रोजेक्ट दैट इज बिगिनिंग विच इज इधर translating a project into a classic into different languages or it is translating plus audioing the project into it so there are a lot of right. celebr- like uh, voice over artist celebrities that are providing pro bono services simply yep. to ensure that certain very very good good books get read across the world or at least heard yeah uh thank you binati and that's uh, so relevant i mean i do stock publishing news and you are so right it's happening all over uh, let's go to aditya for a bit uh, aditya do you have a question for aniket aditya uh, go ahead please okay uh adit i uh, you're not audible adit let's go to supriya do you have a question supriya uh, for aniket or a comment uh yeah hi oh, yeah hi rohan hi hi how are you i'm good how are you i'm good how are you perfect i'm i'm enjoying this session there are so many varied uh, opinions so it's amazing so am i so, so aniket so, aniket so i know them from so i know them from yes for them Yeah. And, uh, and I know I know this reader they are. Um, I had a question for Anike uh, about so audiobooks. I don't listen to them a lot. Honest confession. The only time I tried to listen to one was um, all the light we cannot see. Uh, I and I tried to listen to it because. I I really wanted to finish the book and I was sleepy so I just couldn't read it my eyes started watering so I turned on the audio book and what Rituparna said right the flat tone is something that I don't enjoy in I did not enjoy in that audio book uh but uh, a separate question that I have for Aniket is uh, apart from english audio books have you tried listening to any other language and if so which was it and did you enjoy it that's so interesting actually i was about to ask you about regional uh, you know content aniket on audio please go ahead that question that question will which hits you deep right uh, thank you supriya for asking that wonderful question i have been quite poor when it comes to listening to audio books or even podcast in the regional language maybe because there is just too many things to do and too little time perhaps but it's one thing i would definitely it's on my mind and now you have brought it to the prominence so definitely something i am going to explore i've taken a subscription of kuku fm which is doing an incredible work in india for regional language content and i've also got a couple of audio books on my catalog on audible which are in hindi so it's an audible original so definitely i'm going to keep this in mind that as we go f- so much into the world of a- english we really should not leave our own regional languages our own mother tongue behind and as a person i've done a very very bad job at it so definitely time to make amends with it thank you supriya for that wonderful question i think so next time around we'll do a session about only regional content or hindi or urdu perhaps you know but we can do that uh, next time and uh, An- aniket my final yeah we must actually and uh, aniket my final question to you is that you know you talked about subscriptions does taking subscriptions is that the only way to kind of uh, have accountability uh, sort of and your your couple of recommendations for uh, the people who are attending uh audio book recommendations of course i don't think so that subscription helps you become accountable because uh, yeah it it might be uh, that we are uh, putting up bunch of money and that money would lead us to vasuloing utilizing the amount we have invested into it but i don't think money or subscription on its own adds accountability i think what adds accountability is 
are conversations like these, having a community of fellow readers, fellow like-minded people to engage and interact with, which is why I've been working on building a community of readers. And of late, I've been exploring the thought of opening my community of readers, which is 60 plus members strong, to the wider audience. Because when you have a group of like-minded people, when you have a group of like-minded readers, you have died in the accountability. We are humans, we are social creatures, and the accountability gets driven by people. Or for that matter, Anshuman is one person I know who dies in his accountability by writing a Monday review. So your actions may be like book summaries and book reviews, and this is recent learning, absolutely inspired by Anshuman, that when you publish more of your book reviews, it helps you build in that accountability. To sum that up, uh, have a group of people to interact and engage with, which is where the community element comes into picture. Or if you don't, uh, if you can't have that kind of group, you tie it into your social behavior where you are writing a book summary, you're publishing your notes, just like Binati does, and she's a voracious note taker. If you look, literally you can have her in the next episode on the art of note taking. So these are the social behaviors which ties accountability, not just the subscription. And the last bit, some of my recommendations with Audible. First thing, and I was astounded when I discovered it, that an interest is for Audible. Audible has a plus catalog. So if you're a subscriber to Audible where every month there's a deduction of $1.99 in India, you're, you can avail a lot of audiobooks that are like free for download or free for subscription uh, as part of your what, ongoing subscription. So when I found the books on the plus catalog, I was astounded that there were so many amazing books lying out there. So definitely if you're on Audible and you have not checked out plus catalog, simplest way is to log on to Audible on your desktop and go through your plus catalog. You can also do it from an Audible app, but the desktop experience for a plus catalog is much, much convenient. Having said that plus catalog as one of my recommendations for you to explore, so that you find the book on your own, on the topic of your choice, not just because Aniket said. That is why I mentioned Plus Catalog. And the other bit being books which were really amazing as a listening experience. And one book that really tops all of the listening experience on Audible is Story Worthy by Matthew Dix. And one particular reason I thought the storyteller would engage a lot of vocal variety and uh, the narration quality which everyone is talking about but the author just went for the story did not go for anything else and in the audible experience it was so fascinating that i purchased the, I, I tried for months to get the paperback version and finally after maybe a month of regularly checking on amazon i found story worthy uh, as published version and i immediately ordered it. it costed me a bomb but i just could not resist so that's one book I'll recommend to everyone, it, uh, especially the storytellers or one who aspire to be storytellers. And the other is the one I'm currently reading, Think Again by Adam Grant, or currently listening and reading. I've, um, I've been astounded by Adam Grant. He might lack the vocal narration, but he's making up for it by adding a little bit of chuckles and as if he's enjoying that moment of recording it as an audiobook. And that joy comes across in his narration. So these are the two recommendations I will have. Think again, it was one of the books which was lying on my wish list for nearly months and months. For the last 10 weeks of LI Cap, I think there were, a, there were more than 10 people who would have recommended Think Again or talked about Think Again on my comments or posts. And that led me to, you know, finally take the plunge, bring it up all the way to my TBR list then bring it on top of my TBR list and then listen to it and read it as a combination of Audible and reading the paperback version. These are the two Thank you so much, Aniket. Yeah. yeah, thank you so much, Aniket. That's uh, 
these are some great recommendations i'm going to add them to my tbr and thank you everyone uh, we we have gone over time it was just supposed to be 30 35 minutes but it was so engaging so we had to go over thank you so much we'll be back with another audio session uh, you know perhaps next month or in a fortnight's time it has been interesting it thank you aniket for taking out time you work full time in barclays and thank you so much for being here and uh, yeah thank you everyone who attended especially the speakers and uh, you know you are very patient and thank you so much until next time happy reading and happy listening thank you roar for having me thank you roar for having me here you moderated the sent that moderated the sent that was amazing amazing so i look forward to the next episode look forward to the next episode see you guys see you next time bye bye